I feel privileged to honor my late grandmother Eva because she had such a positive impact on my life. She loved unconditionally and lived her life helping others even when she faced her own sorrows. You know, it's funny because Grandma was really ordinary, but for me, she was extraordinary. You see, I grew up in emotional drama, but Grandma was always a stabilizing force in my life. She was not emotional, but it was in a good sort of way. She was born in 1910 and lived one year shy of being 100 years old. She was one of 10 children right in the middle of the pack, so I know she understood drama. Her mom was Native American, and her dad supported them as a photographer. I remember a story that Grandma would tell me about her childhood. She would, because of being in such a large family, have to miss school one day a week and stay home to do laundry all day long. But when she would tell the story, she never said it begrudgingly because she said it with pride as she would declare that her family had the cleanest white clothes in the whole town. Some of my best memories with Grandma Eva was playing cards. She was a card shark. She knew every card each person would have in their hand. One of my memories that's outstanding was when her and Grandpa would take my sister and I to a lake. And then we would have a picnic on the shore. And Grandpa would fish. We'd come back to their house and we would enjoy uh, making homemade churned vanilla ice cream and lay on a chase lounge and look up at the stars at night. I tell you what, life was simpler then. When I think about Grandma Eva, I think about her competitiveness, um, her sharpness in the fact that uh, she could add any numbers together without a calculator. And then I remember her being that generous, kind person that also provided so much stability. And then the funny side of her being the tomboy that always kept up with her brothers. I would say Grandma Eva's example with regard to volunteer work really affected the course of my life. I love volunteering and helping others. And the example I saw in her was that when she lost grandfather, she did not give in to the sorrow, but rather she immediately went out in a volunteer ministry work and shared her hope of the resurrection with at least 70 other people by the end of that month. Grandma Eva loved the Bible, and a quote from the Bible at James 4.8 is what she lived by. There it says, draw close to God, and He will draw close to you. You know, Grandma's life has impacted the next generation, my son. And even though he only knew her for four years, the fact that I've been able to share stories with him has given him a heritage that he's really proud of. You know, she lived through the Depression, and I remember that she did not want him to have to have hand-me-down shoes, so she always made sure that he had shoes to wear that were new. For someone who has lived almost 100 years like Grandma Eva, she would look at the state of affairs today and probably be very surprised at where the world is now. You know, her mom survived the Spanish flu. She saw inventions like automatic dishwashers and washing machines, color TV. Looking at the world today, Grandma Eva would say, don't give up. Things will get better, not by man, but by God. Under his son's kingdom rule, the whole earth will be at peace, and she lived with that hope in front of her every day. I believe that I am going to see Grandma again, and that's in the near future when the resurrection happens. And at that time, I'm gonna tell her, Grandma, I stayed faithful.